It's uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. Palutena Steve is up, coming up. I and, can't uh, wait to watch this. Nades has some wonderful, interesting thoughts on Steve, as do we all. I mean, wait. I love him. I, I don't enjoy playing against him, but that don't matter. He's so funny to watch. He's so funny and to I, watch. I love honestly. seeing people mold. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, cry more about Steve. Indeed, indeed. Yes. Honestly. So, although this matchup doesn't. Palu's reflect kind of hurt his downer and whatnot. And so Palu in neutral has really good tools to kind of deal with like Anvil, Minecart, because Reflector, also like Invincible back air, Invincible dash attack. So mm. in theory, you think the matchup would be winning for Palutena. But the unfortunate problem is when she's off stage, the block completely blocks her teleport recovery. So she can die at zero. Wait, are you for real? Yep, there's actually, a, these guys have wait, played before. Wait, hold up. I normally say solo main, but maybe you should switch. <laughs> 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 that doesn't sound good. It's uh, it can be very painful when you lose neutral, oh. but it's still possible, you know. I think Raflo recently beat a really good Steve. I can't remember whether it was Tropped or someone else. That's but without a weapon, right? Oh, it's wood. Okay. Wood's uh, yeah, 45%. Wood. It's kind of Indeed. insane. Wood's damage output is still really broken, but the thing is, it's like diamond is just ridiculous. Not only is it like super high damage, but the knockback of it is insane. If this character had only wood. How good would he be? <laughs> I think he still be pretty broken because you still have Anvil, you still have Minecart, you have TNT, you have all of these insanely explosive options, for lack yeah. of a better word. Was Nature got up just the wrong option there? Uh, you always want to wait a little bit, Alleged. This is what, as you, this is what I was saying earlier, though. As you can see, Zones having to teleport around these blocks because if he teleports into them, he bounces right off and falls into the blast zone. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's like I said, Holotena has really good tools to kind of like deal with Steven neutral and when they're in advantage but they just get they can get dumpsters in disadvantage but it's a very careful game you have to play very very smart can you raw bear that when you when you when you actually pick them up carry them up with down tilt i think you can is it can that be would, that would have been death right oh uh, yeah i've been seeing zone go for a lot more affairs though so i don't know if it's uh i'm not just, entirely sure i feel like you can. Forward, yeah. yeah old reliable but yeah, as you can see zone breaking the wooden block it's very the crafting table actually forces them to use a resource on Resport. So if they have nothing but iron, it takes away one of those blocks. It's amazing to do. Steve can't have played? What? Indeed. I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. <laughs> but here we have it. Maze Whoa. has been so good with those no impact landings. Wait, one up tilt and death. Wait, that was just a read. I, I, I don't think that was a combo at all. Oh no, it up tilt into like no impact lands or when they do the block thing, it true combos into that. It just has that much hit stun. No impact land, what do you mean? So, the term no impact land refers to like when you land on usually a platform and it cancels any of your landing lag. Yes. So he does, Steve can do that with blocks so that they can immediately just act out of it. It's very broken and it can lead to them into combos and kill confirms into basically anything. Mm. Ooh, oh my god. That's it. That looked like a really solid game. But Indeed. Steve just makes it back. And honestly, Zone is being very dominant at advantage. Maze has like zero resources left. Apart from the wood and the gold, but even those are going to be very difficult to use in isolation. No anvil, no minecart. He's being forced to mine and get some space. But it's so tough when you have so few resources and you're in the corner. But as you can see, Steve always makes it back. Diamond is online just in case, but that minecart is going to catch that movement option. Uh, Mitch said, is Adam in losers? Yeah, he lost the maze beans. Maze Beans has been on a tear, hasn't dropped a single set. I think only dropped a game in pools, and that was due to his wolf. Scotland represent. Exactly. The hero of Scotland themselves. Yes. It's been amazing to see. I'm pretty sure they're top five on the UKPR. Should be higher. Top five, top six. Top one. Top one. That's right. They do have the win on Bloom forever, but you know, with time. With time. Bloom? Who? <laughs> this is the Maze Beans era now. Oh, and we're in it. <laughs> truly, truly. Obviously, no pressure on the kid, but <laughs> I, I believe. Yeah, as we all do. But I also believe in my boy Zoom to pull through. PS2 is an interesting stage as well because they get hey, they get more iron at the edges of the stage and in general get more stone. Oh. But at the same time, ha having a bigger stage means you can like I don't know. You have you have room to position yourself around minecarts, around anvils, just room to move, and that's so important against Steve. As you can see here, just a but as you can see here, just Maze Beans finding that openings where they can. Was that 60% of one string? 
indeed, indeed. It's very, very, he's a very strong character, but the TNT is just up there. It's out there. And it's ready. It's a, bit of, it's a bit of like a fake or like a bluff almost. Because when they're that far away, the only thing they can activate it with is a uh, minecart onto the pressure plate. Okay. Otherwise, it's just uh, just standing there, waiting. That would disintegrate really fast. <coughs> yeah. Is there a particular reason why it just disappeared so quickly? It was. It would is one of the weaker blocks, but I can't I can't entirely remember what it was hit with. If a move is strong enough, it just eats it for breakfast. Mm. Iron and stone are the real strong ones. And that's why this stage is so potent for Steve. You can already see, mining this stone, these walls requiring two hits of back air. Apparently, that, um, it takes a lot longer to actually um, mine the materials that you need on this stage. Yeah. Um, or metal stage in general. So although you get iron, um, it takes you so much longer to get it mm. that some Steves think that it's not necessarily preferred. Um, yeah. So... That might be why uh, Zone actually took him here. Yeah. And he's doing reasonably well, uh, yeah. considering. This is exactly like you said. Maze, for a period of time, is very limited on resources. But the problem is they're getting clipped by these individual, you know. Their movement's getting caught by these minecarts. Their run off the platforms are getting caught by these up smashes. And it's just a, it's just a slight difference that result that Maze Beans is able to capitalize on. As you can see here, just these escape options, these com movement commitments keep getting caught. Yeah. And Maze eats them for breakfast. That's that a beautiful attack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so good, man. Well, if they're going down to the iron blocks, that means they're low on resources, and you can see it here with a dirt block left. What can you do with this? How can you make it back? Really good down air punish. Like, that up is pretty lagless, and it secures the kill. And zone with the lead. Amazing to see, but. Just making the most of each oh hit, not goodness. over committing. Is that just was a really good reset. This is Vantage is flowing like water. Yeah, gets him in the corner as well. Yeah, although he loses it right now. No, he takes center stage. Indeed, indeed. And the reflector is exactly oh as you said. They just have very good tools to deal with it. So even though disadvantage is very rough, neutral and advantage are very good. And Zone is just taking a very commanding lead at the moment, taking his time, waiting for these individual interactions, these openings that present themselves. Just threading the needle from that point. I've never seen anything trade with that dash attack. Isn't it supposed to be invincible? What's going on? <laughs> Not quite finding the kill, but still Maze in a terrible position. Two blocks left. And oh that will God. be it. Straight into the abyss you go. Indeed. Straight down to hell. That's 1-1. One, one. Where do you think he's going to take uh, his own? I'm really curious as to what stage is the band. Are they just running it back? They might very, they very well may do. I know Kalos can be good, but for the same reasons, you can struggle to find the time to mine because mining takes longer. Same with Hollow Bastion. So, so as a result, you can very much. I don't know. Some Steves, if they find that they're being pressured to mine and they're not making the most of these stone, these iron resources when they're able to grab them, they end up taking them to stages like Smashville and town and city because you end up getting more wood which you know a decently not a, a super weak resource but not a super strong one either mm -hmm. and as a result you can get more on what you need yoshis though i feel like we're basically never gonna see because you just get wool which is the same strength as dirt so <laughs> you end up getting more of dirt and less iron less stone yeah it's very can be very painful but yeah i wonder what we'll end up seeing here looking even so far when is final indeed indeed we're seeing small battlefield, a neutral stage, you know. You get an, you get the regular amount of resources. You don't get too much of anything, really. You get the usual amount of stone, wood, dirt, and iron. So yeah, it makes sense that you go back to like a more neutral stage. But yeah, as you can see, Maze trying to get the space he needs because the problem he had last game is he was just being starved for resources. But as you can see here, once he gets that opening, the no impact ladders. He's been on point with those today, especially having played against him in friendlies myself. It's insane, because the combo, at least no impact landing too, is not easy to do. If Steve gets a wall on the like the side of the platform that's closer to the center and just kind of hugs the ledge, mm. it sets up such a good wall, because they need to approach from above, you know, or just spend time attacking the wall, which, well, I guess if they're just weak materials, you can just smash through. But either way, you know, they actually have to um, uh, spend... Uh, or make their approach fairly predictable. Absolutely, it's exactly as you said. They end up creating, like, they build a house almost, but they don't need any of the side walls because no one's going to come in from behind. They have to break through that front door, and it's got a roof too. <laughs> but he's being just spent the uh, diamond. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. That was redstone 
imbued, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because that absolutely annihilate the shield. Yeah, the gold minecart so powerful. As soon as they have gold, it hits harder and travels faster. And moving at 500 miles an hour on the motorway, and it never stops. 56% diamond combo, already at 80. Exactly. At the ledge, got sent to rage. Lost it, but yeah. I'd like to take a moment to appreciate the beautiful structure <laughs> that Maze been built back there. He built a full backrooms Maze level <laughs> thing that he had to get around, and Zone had to pop this fighting for his damn life. <laughs> I'd approach from above there, but. Um, wasn't punished for it. Very curious. Exactly. Oh my god. That, down, that F smash just waiting, ready. On that freeze that frame, it didn't even look like it connected. Exactly. <laughs> he caught him short hopping ever so slightly into the platform and that F smash is right there. Mazes, oh my goodness. As I was about to say, Mazes is very good at capitalizing on these individual mistakes. So is Zone. He's able to find these openings where he can and when he does, he pushes very hard. As you can see, May's feeling just a lot more comfortable with this stage where his mining isn't as slow. So he's able to just take his time and zones the one on the back foot for the most part. But as I say that, he finds the opening, finds the hard read in that up smash. The pillar of light will do it. Although it's difficult to say that the game is even now um, because of just what Steve is able to do. And the fact that, you know, he has like infinite materials on. Indeed, indeed. Uh, but zone positioning him well to catch that minecart and the advantage state is there. But unfortunately, this, these slight openings, these slight movement commitments keep getting caught. He might very well be dead here. Yeah. <laughs> I like don't I understand. So <laughs> he just straight up cannot be there. It's yeah. just, Because the over. blocks, literally, he gets blocked out by the blocks. And to break the blocks, you need a hitbox on your recovery. Mm -hmm. But teleport recoveries don't have that. And any hitbox will work. Yeah. So if Tunic was approaching from below, yeah. directly below, would he get walled off as well? Possibly. He, mm -hmm. very, he very well might be. You need a hitbox straight to beat it. So mm -hmm. you see recoveries like, I think against Cloud mm -hmm. and Chrome, even though they have hitboxes on their recoveries, they end up getting blocked because they get to that top part. There's no hitbox there. Mm -hmm. I've watched Curry against Maze twice. And in both of those times, Curry gets blocked off. <laughs> Toon Link, Toon Link should be fine as long as you can recover horizontally. And I don't think it directly blocks tether recoveries. But I might be, they can just zip through it. But I might be wrong. I don't know. People still say Cloud is a good character. <laughs> <laughs> Niz will be the very first to tell you that Cloud is bad. Cloud sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Back to this game. Back to PS2. Um, Indeed. Very curious. I guess, no, this is the stage that uh, Zone 1 on. So it kind of makes sense that he feels comfortable here. On top, on top of that, it's his counter pick as well. So it completely makes sense. Yeah. But still, a relatively even game at the moment. Zone with the slight lead, but Steve can always make it back. And at this percent, they can. This this percent is where the no impact landings run rampant. <coughs> you can just straight up convert into like 80 or death. Yeah, they're both taking turns, just hitting each other with like minus two aerials. Yeah. <laughs> See who budgets first. Indeed, indeed. I love it. It's the battle of wills. Yeah. And at the moment, it seems Zone is on top, but any single. Any single crack in that will and maze beans will eat it for breakfast. But yeah. Maze is having to corner himself because Zone keeps on taking stage. Mm -hmm. Every single time he's breaking these walls, forcing forcing maze beans further and further and further back. And look at that, these that tomahawk immediately catching up, crossing him up to grab him as well. That was beautiful. That was a work of odds. Zone is absolutely in his element right now. But still. Finding his way to the very top of that tower. Just taking his time. Because you have to against Steve. The second you rush or force an interaction, Steve is right there with an up tilt or a jab or a back air, minecart, anything you name it. Mm -hmm. He's waiting. It's just about showing that threat, it looks like. Yeah. Like that's, what, that's what's working for him. Absolutely. It's just the... He's, he's breaking the wall, but he's not over committing. He's just pushing a little bit and like forcing um, beans out of his uh, comfort zone. Exactly. He's yeah, just like that. It's exactly as you said, he's forced to commit to these minecarts just to uh, uh, take some oh, attempt of stage that backwards. that vacuum. I thought that got nerfed. Okay, Mazeman was having none of that. Yeah. <laughs> he has a diamond that he's sitting on. I indeed, wonder, indeed. Did it's he just, just about not have time to craft it? Yeah, it's just about whether he'll get the time to craft it. Oh, he took the hit. Yeah. He said, I need it. So every single weapon has changed now. Yep. Pickaxe, swords, shovel. Axe, you name it. It's full <laughs> diamond gear, baby. <laughs> How many normals did we just see? <laughs> You're going to see all of them. Because not only is this frame data better, but it hits harder and it's safer on shields. As you can see. Maze 
Maze Beans just trying to find these straight openings, but Zone is ever so slightly taking his time, playing very cautious, very careful, because he knows that one diamond up tilt, one diamond jab, and that could be his stock. Maze Beans being very, very aggressive. Absolutely, he has to be. It's, it's very good adaptation to see, because Zone is just taking, whenever he's trying to camp, Zone is just eating that stage control. He has to give up stage to camp inherently, and as a result, that's just more room for Zone to work with. However, up close, his frame data is insane. It's like no one, very few characters can actually compete with him. Mm. And hey, more stage control, more mining. Yeah, that's true. He, he shouldn't have to give up his uh, <laughs> mining duties. <laughs> oh my goodness, the full ping pong <laughs> table is out. Yeah. There were multiple opportunities to attack the I guess he didn't expect it. Yeah, when it goes by so fast, did he just get back into the minecart? <laughs> so. God damn oh. man. <laughs> But yeah, Maze, no pickaxe, he's used it up, it seems. Yeah, he's in a really bad spot here, actually. Because on respawn, he's going to get the diamond and gold, so it's just about making sure he doesn't get to use it. And playing around it when he does. Because as you can see, he's that diamond is going to give him those resources 10 times faster. To the point where his bar is full. But if you play around what he gets from that, then you can starve him out through neutral wins, through advantage state. But you just have to be so patient, especially when you play a character that can just get blown up by them. You know, the moment you panic and, you know, press a button or even buff a jump out of that, you know, up tilt string or, or block string even, um, you just get punished so hard for it. Oh, the full ping pong table getting sent back to, right back to Mazepian. But yeah, it's exactly as he says. The second you ever commit, death. Well, that would have worked really well with my timing, but still, we keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Zone getting the space he needs. Just taking his time, because you don't want to be CQC with Steve. Plus two, plus one, minus one on shield. Up till, and that side B is going to take it. You can see Zone with a breath of relief against the demon he's had to face. We're, we're going to game five. Game five. And he did have, Maze did have the lead at the end there, but Zone really just slowed down the game. That's what you have to do against Steve. If you play fast, Steve can play faster. <laughs> so you have to take your time. You have to be slow. You have to be patient and very reactive. Making the most of every hit, but not over committing. It's a delicate balancing act, honestly. And the second you fall off of that tightrope of balancing, Steve is like a shark in the water. <laughs> it's insane to see. Yeah, what do you think Maze has to do to put himself back into the game to take that game five. I mean, I think just zone is, <laughs> funnily enough, in the zone. He's, he's, he understands the threat ranges that he has. He, he, he sh you know, attacks the wall, breaks it a little bit, and uh, just maintains a safe distance, you know, just, just applies a little bit of pressure so that he doesn't, you know, he, he's not able to uh, mine at all. I think he's, he's doing it really well. Uh, I honestly don't know what Miz was going to do. Obviously, I, don't, I don't know much about Steve. Uh, cool. Just deal damage, lol. <laughs> Literally, like, yeah, just yeah. win. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, he's, he's proven it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, he was able to craft something, and he's just using that weapon now. Like, like every single hit just gives him stage advantage, and he's able to, you know, mine some more. It's, it's basically, it's like Steve is like a win more character, Literally. like, after his own point. I think the there's two scary things about this stage. There's the stone and the iron buff that they get, which, you know, we've seen Zone can use to his advantage. But he's dead here. Oh, oh, not quite. The problem is that central platform, if he puts up a wall on either side of it, because that platform is so large, he gets so much stage. Hmm. They have to approach, in, like you said, in a very predictable manner. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll say shout out to Claw as well. <laughs> but yeah, as we can see here, Maze, no iron, no anvil or minecart online, but that individual iron will do what he needs. I'm very, very curious. Like, right there, he decided to... Okay, he got the kill. So he's proven me wrong already before I speak my mind. Ooh, but the re! Oh, my goodness. Zone so comes back fighting. Yeah. He is not down and he is not out. Yeah, there's, there's moments in which uh, Maze Beans is deciding to not like push advantage and you know hold ledge control and just like mine some more. I really, I'm really curious about you know what the optimal situation is there. One hundred percent. But as you say, getting more advantage, fifty-seven percent on deck, and just the full Dark Souls boss he's having to escape to get back to center stage to even touch the ground again. 
And as I say that, ah, oh. oh, the blocks. The full Dark Souls sequence. What do you do there? It's so tough. But the setup is not easy. And honestly, Zone keeps getting caught for committing to projectiles when he's at this distance. He plays really well when he's just able to do it on a platform to avoid it. But when he's on the ground and committing to explosive flame or um, auto reticle, he keeps getting chip he keeps getting hit by these minecarts. He keeps getting chipped. Yeah. And that's exactly what Maze wants. Did he just run out of materials? I really wonder if he could have just taken the stock to finish off with an up smash. Possibly, but <laughs> Oh my god, I, I forgot just the lava is a projectile. So and yeah. as you can see, once the iron walls are out, it means they don't have resources that on their last legs. But it's it's a caveat because that wall is so hard to destroy yeah. that they end up getting the resources anyway. It's kinda like a Hail Mary. But <laughs> <laughs> speaking of which Oh he's crafting some more. He's good. Oh diamond everything. Indeed, Zone's got a mountain to climb to get back into this game. Two stone walls to break. What do you do? Yeah, he's just mining for the insurance of a final stock. But like I said, the second he commits to a projectile, oh my goodness. that minecart is going to take it. That's technically the sour spot, right? Because it didn't spike. Yeah. And it's still so strong. Diamond tools, they're absolutely no joke. Not a joke at all. That was a really close set. It was very, very close. Yeah. I don't know how Zon does it. Yeah, just a very big... Even though the last game, you know, getting caught by the minecart for the projectile commitment was still a really good showing from Zone. Taking yeah. Maze means to game five. Yeah, and that's no easy feat. Absolutely, trust me, we both know. <laughs> we both correct. know. 